So, bought me a trailer to haul behind my truck, carry my stuff in. We're just picking it up, got some work to do on it. Woo! Sorry. Nope, you're good. Getting ready to put it up on the trailer here. Alright, so, today we're going to work on the trailer I bought and try to get it cleaned up a bit. This is the trailer. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the grinding wheel and try to grind it down a little bit to get the uh, rust off. You can see here, right here where I've started on it. And... I'm not going to show you the whole thing. Uh, you can get the idea. It's, uh, uh, so, dog bark in there. Then we got to replace the tail lights on it. Clean it out. So, but that's what it looks like now. And I'll show you progress as we go through. done on the trailer today got this all sanded down exterior is all sanded down on both sides got the gas tank removed shocks removed and some stuff hanging down from the exhaust system removed under there so and you can see what this looks like here and still got a lot to do in the bed got to replace the tail lights license plate bracket Still got a little sanding to do. I'm gonna take the hubs off and make sure they're good. Take the brakes out of them. Good morning. We're back out here at the trailer and we're gonna to try to wipe it down and get a primer coat put on it. And just wipe down the front of it. I'm just waiting for it to dry right now. But this is what the trailer looks like so far. Because we didn't do the frame, but that's okay. Frame's good. Okay. Sorry about the shadow. Okay. It's all been sanded down, and it's all smooth right there. Now, we did not do the bed. This bed's going to be covered up uh, probably with a uh, piece of plywood, a couple pieces of plywood, uh, because of the ridges in it. That way stuff will sit more smoothly. Or a big old, uh, about a half inch thick rubber mat. We'll see uh, which one's going to be more cost effective. But that's what the bed of the truck looks like. It's all been sanded down, smooth. And what we're going to do today is just put a primer coat on it. I still got to remove these here. And this. Uh, and I've got to get a light for the license plate right here. I've got to get the, well, I, I gotta get all the lights actually. Still gotta remove this, and that's what the other side of the trailer looks like. Still gotta take the drums off also. So, and then we gotta figure out a tailgate for it. So, if I knew what year model it was, I'd go to the junkyard and see if I could find a tailgate, but we have no idea what year model it is. So, and I'll show you more, uh, I'll show you more of it. Uh, after we get a primer coat on it, so, okay? Okay, got the primer on the outside of the trailer. Uh, 
gonna see how that holds up. Probably need to put another coat on it. Still have not done the inside. I'll get you a bit closer up. Still got work to do back here. This is the other side. You can't really see real good because it don't have any light on it. This is the front. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this trailer or with the tongue area here. I know there's a box going on it. Uh, it's just trying to decide whether or not I want to sand all that down and paint it up there. But we got time for that. Got to worry about the bed first. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like now. Okay, so here's where we're at on the trailer. Just finished putting the second coat of the uh, green primer on and got the first coat of the bed, which I did in brown. Uh, not sure why, but that's what we did. And just so you can see it, this is the brown. First coat of brown, okay. And then second coat of green. Now, this what is green will end up being black. Okay. And then the brown will probably stay brown, except for the bed, the flat part in there. This part down here, this here, will probably have a uh, quarter inch or half inch plywood on it just because stuff won't set evenly with these ridges here so that's where we're at right now with the trailer still working on the back section here with the lights i bought the lights just got to get some different metal to put them on and looks like brandon my son has started trying to get these hubs off so we can figure out what's going on with the brakes and stuff in there so we can get the brakes off because we don't need those on this trailer so and we're still looking at maybe just taking the whole trailer off the frame, the whole bed off the frame, and uh, painting the frame also. I don't know. Looks like a pretty good job, but we'll see. So that's where we're at right now. Yeah. Got the bed off the trailer. Now we're going to run a steel wire steel brush over this so we can put some rust sealer on it Brandon is filling up the differential because it had no fluid in it and even though there's no drive train the wheels still turn ooh, ooh, the wheels still turn yeah so got to have fluid in there to keep them from heating up so Bed's there. Frame is here. See what we can get done with it. We decided to flip the axle and uh, finally got it broke loose. Now we got to jack up the frame so we can get the axle spun sideways so we can put the frame above it and then set it back down on the axle. So that's the plan for now. We'll see how it works out. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. And easy because it's, it's pulling it backwards. That's what's happening. So, okay. I've been working on the trailer today.
trying to get the uh, the new tail lights in because can't find the old originals anywhere so that's what we're trying to make the hole bigger and get the new ones to fit properly so. so we got the one fit and flush over here and now he's working on that one and we're going to take the sheet metal there and stretch it across those holes, put it on, and then we'll drill the sheet metal to uh, flush mount the tail lights in. All right, got the lights in. That's how they end up mounting. After we get the area covered up with new metal. Well, we got the trailer bed back on the chassis. So, and that's the clearance we got. So I guess if I want to go 35s, I can go 35s. Because those are 33s on there. Now, get it all tightened up, put the light, get the lights finished installed, and uh, get side markers, and we'll be good to go. That's what it looks like, will look like after the tail lights are installed, and these here will be covered up so the lights will go this will be up because it's going to be painted and uh, got to get this out knock that out license plate we got a license plate light going up in here almost done still got to do tailgate so but she's getting there and that's what it is underneath a lot of clearance under there. So. Hey, well, got the trailer painted black like I wanted it. Still got to mount this box right here. Going to go right across those beams right there. That'll hold my battery and my solar panel and my um, converter or inverter whatever and that's what the side looks like there it's kind of dark over here there we go it's all black gonna put another coat on it I got some streaks or runs in it but it is an off-road trailer so back of it's full of junk you can see the gotta hook the lights up you can see the lights back there with the wires hanging Got to hook those up. 
and uh, then take it down and get it inspected by vehicle registration so I can get a homemade trailer plate for it. So, and this is the other side here. Um, Of course, like all trailers, already got it full of junk in the back. And there we go. Got a slow leak in the tire on this side, so we got to get it aired up again and plugged. So that's it for now. Hello, folks. Sunny here with Sunny's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, Going to do a closing video on this uh, trailer here. Um, it is about 99.9% .9 complete. The only thing I still got to do is put the uh, wooden floor inside it, but that'll come uh, probably after I uh, convert my the bed of my truck with the topper on it into a uh, sleeping area. But just to show you what we've done, and it's a mess right now. I've got a lot of stuff piled up on it, piled in it. Uh, we did, if you, well, let me get out of the sun there, get the shadow. We put a landing leg on it there. Uh, this box here, I believe I said I was going to turn into a uh, um, battery and inverter box. I think I've changed that. Right now, I just got some tools in it. Normally, this is where I put my tarps. It does lock, and it is welded and screwed. Well, I'm sorry, it is not welded. But it is screwed to these braces here, right here. So those are welded to the frame, and this is bolted into these. There's three of them there. So, and you can see uh, the frame has been painted black. Okay, and for a tailgate, what I did was I had this toolbox right here in uh, storage. I bought it for my truck, but it wouldn't fit. So what I did was I set it back here, and the lip here catches it, and over there, and I can open it up. And what I'm there, I got all my kitchen stuff, my pots, my pans, uh, <clears throat> some uh, MREs. I've got a tarp on top to keep everything dry. Uh, I've got to unpack it here. As soon as it warms up, it's about 21, 22 degrees out here right now, kind of chilly. Uh, so, got the lights in. I said I got the tarp on it. I am thinking seriously about putting some bows on it just so I can go up over like this and tarp it like that, like an old army trailer. A uh, bunch of fishing poles up there. Most of those will probably go be going into the trash, or the reels will be going in the trash, and some of the poles I'll keep. Uh, both of them have some good and bad in them. So. But that is the trailer right now. Uh, it pulls real nice. I uh, got safety chains on it required. So, <clears throat> but that is it. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. There's a property owner's dog, Sunny, over there. Spelt with a U, not with an O like mine. She's a good dog. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, uh, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button for me. I really could use them. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, I do have a Patreon link there. Uh, if you think you want to do that, I sure would appreciate it. I only got one level on there, so uh, I don't want to steal everybody's money. So. But y'all have a good day. Stay warm. Uh, and we'll talk to y'all later.